welcome again. This is another episode of Echo Lead Podcast. Hi, yo, and welcome to another episode of Echo Lead Podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And today I want to talk about public participation. And this is because it's an issue that I have really faced so many times with my clients. Somebody has a project, they wanted to do an environmental assessment because that is what I do, that is what Echo Lead does. But the problem is the moment you continue or the moment you're telling them about the process, they will be like, do we need any public participation? Do we need to involve the neighbors? And the answer is yes, public participation is a must. It's one of those things that must be done for your project to be licensed by NEMA. So yes, you need public participation. Public participation means that your neighborhood, the local people, the people who are surrounding the area, people who will be affected by the project that you're planning to bring into their environment have been involved. They are informed of the new project that is coming or they are informed of a project that is being proposed in their neighborhood. And two, they have given their views. Do they feel, how do they feel about the project in terms of the impact it is going to have on their day-to-day life, on their day-to-day activities? Is it uh, bringing in benefits to them? Is it of uh, any advantage to them? Or is it a risk for their life, for their, their, you know, day-to-day activity, their children, they are whatever they have going on with their life. So public participation is a step that must be conducted during pub, during the environmental assessment uh, process. You cannot go, you cannot be able to acquire a NEMA license if public participation was not done. And not just public participation, but adequate public participation. And the level of public participation differs depending on The project, if it's a high-risk project, the public must be very, very well informed and the the, the process is going to be very comprehensive. You have to go through the process of of going through the media house, the newspaper, you have to do barazas and meetings and such. There are those levels of an EIA or different projects that will just require your neighbors to have a small uh, gathering, let them air their views. Some will just be indoors or in-house questionnaires feeling so that's a process that your uh, your consultant or your expert is going to advise you of course depending on the information he or she has about the project that you the investor wants to bring into the society the other thing that i want to make sure that you understand is that the constitution of kenya 2010 provides for public participation in that it says that every person in Kenya, everybody in Kenya has a right to a clean and healthy environment. And that that right to a clean and healthy environment, it entails to have them, the people who are here, have the environment protected for them and even for the future generation even for the future generation. So if people have the right to a clean and healthy environment and you as an investor wants to bring in a project, now assuming your project affects the state of the environment, assuming your project does not go according to the provision that the public has, then the public, if you are going against their right, then they have a right to go to a court of law and prosecute you. And I don't want you to go through that process. Nobody wants you to go through that. It's expensive, it is tedious, it is stressful. Nobody wants you to go through that process. And that is why public participation is really done initially before you even start your your project. Let your consultant make sure they have done a public uh, participation that is comprehensive enough to ensure that the neighborhood, their views have been had. And then you come up with a plan of how you're going to to, to meet their views and demands and fears and address their worries and then build the project together because that's this is something new are bringing to them. It's going to affect them directly or indirectly. And when I talk about public participation, I'm talking about the negativity. They, let them mention the negative impacts they feel that could arouse from the project, but then them also see the positives, the benefits of your project to them. And that is the essence of public participation. So yes, public participation is a must 
for you before you get an MR license, all right? As an investor, make sure that your expert, your consultant has done the public participation and has done it comprehensively. And I'm sure you have listened to the news in the recent past. You have had projects that uh, that have gone through. Um, they have been accused. They did not involve the public. The public has gone um, highway because they were not involved about a new project that is coming. And uh, like I told you, the public participation is to inform the, the people of a new project and also to hear what they have to say and then incorporate what they say into your project development plan. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to follow our page. Make sure to follow us on social media. If you need a free consultation, book a call now. Our contacts are below. Make sure to sign in for the weekly newsletters that I usually send you every week telling you about the new things that are happening, such ad things I could have sent you, and so many beautiful things that your business could need, especially when it comes to the environment. So make sure to... Make sure to like this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to our channel, share this with your friends, and I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, God bless you and bye-bye.